Question. You hit a parked vehicle and can't find the owner. What must you do? Option number one. Call your insurance company when you get home. Option number two. Wait for the owner to return. Option number three. Leave a note with your name and address on the parked vehicle. Option number four. Ignore and leave. The answer is option number three. Leave a note with your name and address on the parked vehicle. Question. Under ideal driving conditions, a driver should maintain a minimum following distance of. Option number one. One second. Option number two. Two seconds. Option number three. Three seconds. Option number four. Ten seconds. The answer is option number three. Three seconds. Question. The maximum speed limit on a rural interstate highway may be? Option number one. 65 miles per hour. Option number two. 75 miles per hour. Option number three. 80 miles per hour. Option number four. Any of the above. The answer is option number four. Any of the above. Question. Littering? Option number one. Is against the law. Option number two. May cause a traffic accident. Option number three. Can lead to a $1,000 fine and up to one year in jail. Option number four. All of the above. The answer is option number four. All of the above. Question. The first thing affected after drinking alcohol is a person's? Option number one. Vision. Option number two. Balance. Option number three. Speech. Option number four. Judgment. The answer is option number four. Judgment. Question. The driver's left arm and hand are extended downward. This hand signal means that the driver plans to. Option number one. Turn left. Option number two. Turn right. Option number three. Stop. Option number four. Start up. The answer is option number three. Stop. Question. If you are driving on the interstate and pass your exit, you should? Option number one. Quickly cut across traffic to make your turn. Option number two. Make a U-turn to go back to the exit. Option number three. Continue driving and use the next exit. Option number four. Put your vehicle in reverse to go back to the exit. The answer is option number three. Continue driving and use the next exit. Question. Driver should not do which of the following? Option number one. Dim their headlights when within 200 feet of an oncoming vehicle. Option number two. Use their parking lights only while parked. Option number three. Dim their headlights when following within 200 feet of another vehicle. 
Option number 4. Avoid being blinded by oncoming headlights by glancing toward the right edge of the roadway. The answer is option number 1. Dim their headlights when within 200 feet of an oncoming vehicle. Question. If you need to stop quickly and your vehicle is not equipped with an anti-lock braking system, ABS, you should? Option number 1. Hold down the brake pedal. Option number 2. Firmly pump your brakes. Option number 3. Lightly tap the brakes. Option number 4. Release the brake pedal. The answer is option number 2. Firmly pump your brakes. Question. If a chain, rope, or cable is being used to tow a vehicle, a dash flag should also be attached. Option number 1. Red. Option number 2. White. Option number 3. Yellow. Option number 4. Orange. The answer is option number 2. White. Question. A single broken white line down the center of a two-lane road indicates? Option number 1. Lanes are moving in opposite directions and drivers are not permitted to pass. Option number 2. Lanes are moving in opposite directions and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. Option number 3. Lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are not permitted to pass. Option number 4. Lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. The answer is option number 4. Lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. Question. The child restraint law requires children who are under the age of 8 and less than dash in height to be seated in an approved safety restraint system. Option number 1. 5 feet, 5 inches. Option number 2. 5 feet. Option number 3. 4 feet, 11 inches. Option number 4. 4 feet, 9 inches. The answer is option number 4. 4 feet, 9 inches. Question. If you see a pedestrian using a guide dog or carrying a white cane? Option number 1. The pedestrian must yield the right of way. Option number 2. You must yield the right of way. Option number 3. Honk your horn to let them know you are there. Option number 4. Vehicles must come to a complete stop. The answer is option number 4. Vehicles must come to a complete stop. Question. Signs with orange backgrounds are? Option number 1. General warning signs. Option number 2. Construction and maintenance warning signs. Option number 3. Regulatory signs. Option number 4. Warning signs. The answer is option number 2. Construction and maintenance warning signs. Question.
Question. If an officer is directing traffic at a working traffic light, drivers should? Option number one. Follow the directions indicated by the traffic light. Option number two. Follow the directions given by the officer. Option number three. Honk at the officer. Option number four. Check to see what the cars next to them are doing. The answer is option number two. Follow the directions given by the officer. Question. The effect that lack of sleep has on your safe driving ability is the same as? Option number one. The effect that alcohol has. Option number two. The effect that amphetamines have. Option number three. The effect that anger has. Option number four. The effect that driving with teenagers has. The answer is option number one. The effect that alcohol has. Question. To check your blind spot when changing lanes to the left, you should glance? Option number one. Over your right shoulder. Option number two. At your side mirror. Option number three. Over your left shoulder. Option number four. At your rear view mirror. The answer is option number three, over your left shoulder. Question. A solid white line down the center of a two-lane road indicates? Option number one. Lanes are moving in opposite directions and drivers are not permitted to pass. Option number two. Lanes are moving in opposite directions and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. Option number three. Lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are not permitted to pass. Option number four. Lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. The answer is option number three. Lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are not permitted to pass. Question. You must yield the right of way to an emergency vehicle that is using its siren and flashing lights by. Option number one. Driving as closely to the right edge of the road as possible and stopping. Option number two. Moving into the right lane and driving slowly until it is passed. Option number three. Stopping immediately, even if you are within an intersection. Option number four. Moving into the left lane and driving slowly until it is passed. The answer is option number one. Driving as closely to the right edge of the road as possible and stopping. Question. This sign means? Option number one. Trucks only. Option number two. Trucks are entering the highway. Option number three. Upcoming hill. Option number four. Trucks have the right of way. The answer is option number three. Upcoming hill. Question. Which of the following is true about driving on a wet roadway? Option number one. As you drive faster, your tires become less effective. 
Option number two. Water does not affect cars with good tires. Option number three. Deep water is less dangerous than shallow water. Option number four. As you decrease your speed, the roadway becomes more slippery. The answer is option number one. As you drive faster, your tires become less effective. Question. Highway hypnosis is a driving condition that can result from Option number one. Staring at the roadway for long periods of time. Option number two. Frequent rest stops. Option number three. Too much sleep the night before your trip. Option number four. Short trips on expressways. The answer is option number one. Staring at the roadway for long periods of time. Question. A red traffic signal light means that you must. Option number one. Stop at the stop line. Option number two. Stop before entering any crosswalk. Option number three. Stop before entering the intersection. Option number four. All of the above. The answer is option number four. All of the above. Question. Drive below the posted speed limit when? Option number one. Anything makes conditions less than perfect. Option number two. You see a police car. Option number three. Entering a highway where there are other cars. Option number four. You are on a four-lane road. The answer is option number one. Anything makes conditions less than perfect. Question. On long trips, you can prevent drowsiness by. Option number one. Turning on your car radio. Option number two. Slowing down. Option number three. Stopping at regular intervals for a rest. Option number four. Moving your eyes from side to side as you drive. The answer is option number three. Stopping at regular intervals for a rest. Question. A driver who is taking a non-prescription drug should? Option number one. Read the labels on the drug before driving. Option number two. Drink alcohol instead. Option number three. Continue to drive regardless of any warning labels. Option number four. Drive only during daylight hours. The answer is option number one. Read the labels on the drug before driving. Question. This sign means? Option number one. No left turn. Option number two. No stopping. Option number three. No U-turn. Option number four. Detour ahead. The answer is option number three. No U-turn. Question. When making a right turn on a green light, you must? 
Option number one. Maintain your normal driving speed. Option number two. Stop and look for nearby police cars. Option number three. Yield to pedestrians. Option number four. Increase your normal driving speed. The answer is option number three. Yield to pedestrians. Question. If you are driving near a motorcycle, you must. Option number one. Allow the motorcycle to use a complete lane. Option number two. Drive on the shoulder beside the motorcycle. Option number three. Allow the motorcycle to use only half of a lane. Option number four. Pass using the same lane as the motorcycle. The answer is option number one. Allow the motorcycle to use a complete lane. Question. What do speed limit signs indicate? Option number one. Potential driving speeds for the area. Option number two. The maximum or minimum speed that is legally allowed to be driven. Option number three. The speed driver should drive in heavy traffic. Option number four. The speed driver should drive under poor conditions. The answer is option number two. The maximum or minimum speed that is legally allowed to be driven. 